Hi, how goes it? Gavin here, back with another game called How to Cope with Boredom and Loneliness, a guide for the isolated, a documentary filmmaker simulator. Which is a mouthful, but every single one of those elements kind of gets you really uh, intrigued in the game. Uh, it's described, it's, the description says, You play as Nigel Wimble, award-winning filmmaker, as he completes his final episode of A Guide for the Isolated series. His previous episodes include Death Row Inmates, Lighthouse Keepers, and the tribe of Matitiwawa. Tonight, his focus on a 43-year-old, Harold Fletcher, who has been grounded to his room for the past 30 years. You are tasked with choosing the relevant scenes to shoot for the show, examine the object in Harold's room, and pick the ones that hold the most potential for hard-hitting television. Every item holds a story, but not every story is relevant. Use your filmmaker intuition to pick the best scenes to make television gold. Wow. Uh, it was made by Point Bleep Studios. So, once I return to my game, let's get into it. Let's press start. Instructions. How to make a documentary. <laughs> you are Nigel Wimble. Hard-hitting BBTV documentary. BBTV? I used to be signing those guys. What? That's way too fast. A guide for the isolated. You have come to talk with Harold, 43-year-old man who has been grounded to his bedroom for over 30 years. Since his mother, Margaret, doesn't want you here, you only have enough time to talk about three topics. Carefully choose three items of interest from Harold's room to learn how he copes with boredom and loneliness. Every item tells a story. But not every story is relevant. Or good. Confirm your selections by interacting with the door, then watch the documentary unfold, good or bad. Your show will be rated at the end. Enjoy. Hmm. So, oh, so you just pick and then watch, eh? I... I... How long has Harold been playing guitar? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Sorry, let's... Let's... How long has Harold been playing guitar? What if I've discovered a virtuoso? It looks well used. Potential soundbite. Music can take you to places only your ears can see. The guitar is Harold's vessel to the unseen worlds, and he is the captain. Like a dog. Howling in agony. Something about he sings like a dog howling in agony. This isn't... Like, there's, there's some technical issues here, but I like the visual style. This looks like some kind of film script. Has Harold been writing a movie? This could be gold. Potential soundbite. With Hollywood full of deranged idiots, does Harold hope there's room for one more? Of course there is. I'm on fire. I like to write erotic dramas set in science fiction futuristic landscapes. What? Sci-fi erotic dramas. Telescope. Harold's only view to the larger world is through his telescope. It breaks your heart, hopefully. Potential soundbite. With an eye in the sky, you can sometimes forget where your feet are. Brilliant. Mold from 94 is rather slender. <laughs> so he's a peeping Tom. This oversized cuddly toy looks like it's grown old with Harold. I bet a story about these two growing up could pull at the heartstrings. Wait, what are those stains? Potential soundbite. Harold and his co-prisoner, an overstuffed rabbit, have been through hell, but at least had each other to ease the loneliness. That'll get him reaching for the hankies. Kevin's my only friend now, aside from mother, of course. Like, it moves really, really fast. I'm, I'm having trouble keeping up here. An old wooden toy truck. Maybe Harold's father was a lorry driver. Maybe I can trigger a painful memory. Potential soundbite. A poorly carved toy truck serves as a reminder of an absent father. Where sometimes life on the road equals mummy, where daddy's coming home. Wow, this will hit hard. Oh, Harold never plays with that. After everything your father did for you. Hmm, interesting. I hope you can hear the voices, by the way. Novelty crab clop, sometimes something to combat loneliness. The isolated will attribute personality to inanimate objects. Potential soundbite for Harold. The watchful clock is ever ticking. In a way, he has been his only companion. Oh, Harold loves that clock. We used to use it to time the intervals between Harold being naughty. For every five minutes he was good, I wouldn't smack him round the head. <laughs> Who does the voice? It's just a guy. An aquarium, pet fish like Carol, the prisoners to the environment. Wow, I can draw a great parallel to this. Potential soundbout. Like the fish, Harold is swimming in a sea of isolation. Yeah, I love it. Harold's father was never there, so I got him a fish. Hmm. B poster. 
Boris the Special Bee came out in 1983. Is this the last movie Harold left the house to see? Potential soundbite. Some movies are an escape from reality. For Harold, his reality is like a movie, a terrible movie. I'm special, like Boris. Well, maybe the movie came out on TV. A modern TV, I'm surprised his mother allows him to watch television. Potential soundbite. For the isolated idiot, watching television is an escapism we all take for granted. Poetic. I'll add it on no later than 8. Got it. The bed. A 42 year old man sleeping in a racing car bed. This would make an interesting topic for discussion. Potential soundbite. You can imagine Harold dreaming of driving away from here. Beautiful. Harold loves cars and sleeping. It only makes sense to combine his passions. He hasn't got tons of space in here, you know. Okay. So, M Margaret. How long will she punish Harold for? I don't like the way you're looking at me. Harold doesn't need a father. Okay. Or oh, you can have subtitles. I apologise, guys. <laughs> um. Okay, so I think we've looked at everything in the room. Uh, apart from Harold, <laughs> of course. A curious man in a curious situation. Is this going to take long? Yeah, I should have. <laughs> I'm so sorry I didn't have those on. But it's, it's too fast to read anyway. Okay, so if I were... Hmm. See, on, on observation, what I would pick is the guitar, the piece of paper with the script on it, and the telescope. Because they seem to be like things that make him feel like he wants to escape. However, the aquarium, the truck, and the bed... Um... It makes it sound like you know he talks about escape when he when he when he talks about those things. Actually, it's mostly his mother that talks about those things. So I think we'll go with my first three choices and see how that goes. This will be an interesting line of inquiry. Oh, I can always delete them early. That's pretty good. Hard hitting stuff. Let's see how this turns out. Hard cut with boredom and loneliness. A guide for the isolated. I realise I talk like shit. Tonight at 9 on BBTV, we have the final part of Nigel Wimble's hard-hitting docuseries How to Cope with Boredom and Loneliness, A Guide for the Isolated. In tonight's episode, Nigel looks at a special case where a man has been grounded to his bedroom for over 33 years. Hello, I'm Nigel Wimble. Why would you greet yourself in third person? Well, Harold always has been a naughty boy. He was quite out of hand, you know. I've only got one nice picture of him, and even that he's pissing on the cat. <laughs> what the fuck? In the end, I sent him to his bedroom, and the bad behaviour seemed to stop. So I've kept him up there permanently. I had a look around Harold's room to see what he uses to cope with the boredom and loneliness from 33 years of isolation. <laughs> Music can take you to places only your ears can see. The guitar is Harold's vessel to unseen worlds, and he is the captain. If Mother allows it, I, I would like to play you a new piece I've been working on entitled Plastic Race Car Bed. Here we are, sitting in my car, my little plastic car, yes, here we are. What? Oh my car, my little plastic car, take me to the road and I'll sing this song. Old hot tar, not in my car, these tires are made for asphalt roads. <laughs> what the fuck? I spied a screenplay Harold had been working on. With Hollywood full of deranged idiots. Maybe Harold hopes there's room for one more. He decided to read me some lines. She ran her slightly damp tentacle across his cheek <laughs> as he gazed longingly into her compound eye. I don't care that you tried to bite my head off during coitus. I love you, Sheila. Run away to Planet Vargo with me, please. I love you too, Brad, but my father... Let me talk to him. He'll understand. Now come here and kiss me. Sheila passionately kisses Brad with her four mouths. 
Red slowly strokes her. That will do now, Harold. You're a bloody pervert. <laughs> <laughs> With an eye in the sky, you can sometimes forget where your feet are. For Harold, he never forgets where his feet are, but still has sights on the stars. This old telescope has got me through many an afternoon. I mean, sometimes I'll pretend I'm a World War II sniper and think that the bus stop are advancing Germans. They wouldn't stand a chance if it was a real sniper rifle, let me tell you. They could try taking cover, but I'm pretty sure the bullets would go straight through the bus shelter. Bloodbath. My time with Harold has come to an end. I hope one day he will find freedom and live a full life. But until then, he will continue to look for ways to cope with boredom and loneliness. I'm Nigel Wimble. Good night. Join us next week as I investigate cows and why so many stomachs. 9pm Wednesday night on BBTV. I am in awe. I am shocked, Mr. Stobart. Shaken. Oh, look at this. Excellent. Very poignant moment when he pulled out the guitar. 10 out of 10. John from St. Saint Saint Helens? I lived near there. That screenplay sounded hot. When's part two coming out? 10 out of 10. Sci-fi insider. I used my telescope the exact same way. <laughs> Amazing show, Nigel. 10 out of 10. From an anonymous source. Made in 72 hours for Ludum Dare number 37. Theme, one room. Oh, I love one room games. I might I might look up Ludum Dare 37 and see if I can download some more. I got 10 out of 10 on my first... Like, I was questioning picking them, but I'm kind of glad I did. That was my Metacritic score. 10 out of 10 across the board. I, I aced it in one go. So that was... How to Cope with Boredom and Loneliness. From pointbleepstudios.net. If you want to see the other endings, feel free to play it yourself. The race car song's playing in the background, guys. The race car song's playing in the background. Uh, and some uh, some uh, Twitter pages for the creators down there you can follow. Add Poffle, add uh, Rodo Bodo, Rodo Bod Bodolfo. <laughs> God damn it. I'm broken. I've played too many of these games today. I've played like five, dude. <laughs> Oh, I'm just trying to get through them. I'm just trying to live, man. I'm just trying to survive here. Uh, Harold Wimble's face right there staring me out. I like that. I like the style of it. Um, obviously, a lot of effort went into it. Um, they wrote a song for it. I'm so done. That was How to Cope with Boredom and Loneliness. I hope you guys enjoyed it. This was a, a little bit of a smaller one and, and very strange and one of the strangest like games I've played on this channel, but also very funny. Nice little game. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, I will see you in the next video.